What do we see in the world today? What do you see when you turn on your TV? That's why I threw my TV out the window. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want nothing to do with any of these things. We're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. This is a, the lust of the flesh, and that's all the devil works in. He's our enemy, and we need to separate ourselves from the flesh. And we can do that through, through fasting, for praying, through obeying Jesus Christ and being baptized in his name. Hallelujah. It's available to any, each and every one that the Lord calls. Did you hear that call? You listen to the Lord. Let him guide you. He'll lead the way. You need no man. All you need is Jesus Christ and listen to that voice when he calls you. We're all here today because he first called us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is all the work of the devil. Everything you see here, we see it all around us in the world today. And it doesn't matter where in your life each of us has participated in some of these in the flesh. Each of us. We are all sinners. Filthy sinners. Myself, the chief one. I, I look at my own life, I'm amazed the Lord has chosen me. He still called me and chose me no matter everything I did to, against Him. And it's because of His love for me. First, that He loved me and showed me how much He loved me even though I was so wicked that it changed my life. It changed my life. It doesn't matter where the enemy has taken you, what he's done to control your life. See, the enemy can do nothing on his own, nothing original. He's not, does he have any power to create anything. All he does is corrupt. All he takes is what God has done and corrupts it and tries to steal the very beauty of the creation that the Lord worked in us. You look at all these children in the world are being so deceived whether it be through what Maxine has gone through or whether it be in the, in the churches with the false doctrines, whether it be sitting in front of a TV being programmed whether it be in the schools being indoctrinated whatever it be, he gets them while they're young and he tries to control their minds, tries to manipulate them and it doesn't matter because if the Lord calls you and you listen unto him, no matter what you've been through the Lord will remove all that and he will make you a new creature in him. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. With the power of the Holy Ghost, Jesus Christ died on the cross and gave up the ghost for us because of he first loved us first. That we can have his spirit of truth and love dwelling within us. Hallelujah. As we love each other, brethren in Christ, what is it that we, we're attracted to? What is it that we love of each other? I know that there's nothing good in me. If you like me, if you see something good in me, that's Jesus Christ. That's not me. And I praise God you can see anything good in me because I know it's him and not me. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's, when you come across somebody that you have that recognition, when you're walking in the spirit, you just the Lord turns that on. You recognize somebody. You feel like you've known them forever. That's the eternal within each of you. That's Jesus Christ within each of you. He gives you that recognition. It's the same spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And there are gifts that come along with the Spirit. There are weapons to fight these battles. We don't have to fight these battles. The Lord fights them for us. He gives us everything we need to stand in this day. As we come to worship, we come to praise God. Hallelujah. His Spirit's going to go forth and He's going to conquer these kingdoms of the devil, these strongholds, and break them down, tear them down, rip the foundations out of the very earth for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. It says in verse 22, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, Temperance against such there is no law, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another and being one another. 
Hallelujah. As we're serving the Lord, as we're seeking to walk in the Spirit more and more each day, we got to continually crucify the flesh, die to the flesh daily, asking the Lord, Lord, shine your light into every crack and crevice of my heart my life and show me where the sin is. Show me where it's hiding so that you can repent of it, so you can throw it on that altar before the Lord that it might be crucified. Go back to Calvary and be crucified with, with Him. All the sin that came back in a flood to him is all the sin that we give up and give to him. That's what he's waiting for. That's why he did it for us. And we need to let go of it. Cast it away and let go of the other end. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Lord will deliver us. He will work his great and glorious works within us. And we shall see the fruit of the Spirit come forth in our life. Where you can have true joy in your spirit. No matter what's going on in your life, you, always have, you can always have that place of refuge, that et place of eternity within you, of Jesus Christ, where he can fill you with joy, he can fill you with true love, peace, long-suffering. I think about how, I used to think I was, uh, I had a lot of pride before, and I used to think, wow, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty patient guy. You know, I'm laid back, easy going. I'm pretty patient, you know. You know, and I think people, some people might like me because of that. But then, then I came to know the patience the Lord had for me. And I was like, I don't have anything. <laughs> All of his long suffering for us, how much he waits around with his grace and mercy while we come to our senses and say, you know what, Lord? You were right all along. Amen. I was wrong. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. God is good. And he's so gentle and loving with us, with his patience and long-suffering. And it's just to have that meekness that he gives us, that desire just to submit your lives completely and yield it completely unto him. That's a gift. That's a fruit of walking in the Spirit. And it, it grows as you continue in your walk and you're strengthened in your walk. As you're able to yield more and more to him in humility and meekness. That means that the more that his spirit can come dwell within you, the, the wider of a vessel you can be to contain more of his spirit, to see more of his glory work in your life. I mean, the Lord has made life so simple if we just yield to him, yeah. give it all to him. The, this world is so confused. They've corrupted so many terms. And one of them I think of is, is slave, the term slave. We don't really understand what it means to be a slave. I mean, you think of it, we think of it, we think of uh, what the slaves were in the United States. It's all, that was of the devil. It had nothing to do with the Lord. But a slave is someone that submits their will completely to a master, that gives everything over to the master in complete service. And therefore, the relationship between a master and a slave, the master, biblically, is someone who takes care of that slave, all of their needs, so they are want for nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's the perfect relationship we can have with God. We, don't, we can ask him for anything and everything. Mm -hmm. The riches of his kingdom and glory have no limit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can't ask for. He will give it to us. It was, it, I was so many times in my life, I've limited the Lord because I didn't ask for the big things that he wanted to work in my life. And we just need to continue to talk to the Lord and listen unto his voice, yield unto him, become a slave to our master, Jesus Christ, dependent upon him for everything. That's what he wants. He wants us to come up to him, lay everything on the table before him. Lord, this is my life. This is, I need help. Show me what to do. And everything. And he will guide you. He will lead you. He will give you visions, dreams, words. He'll speak to you. He'll open up this word and show you verses, the depths of you never even considered before. Verses that you've read time and time again. One day you'll read it and like, oh, I never saw that there. Wow. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's the greatness and glory of our God. He's so precious, so loving, so kind. And the enemy out there is so evil and so vile and so disgusting. And I hate him. Amen. I hate the devil and I hate sin. And we need that utter conviction in our heart of such thing. God hates sin too. Yes. Because sin and the devil is out there to take us from him. And he loves us. 
And he hates anything that would take us away from him. Praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the greatness of his love for us, that he hates our enemies. Glory to God and thank you, Jesus, for first loving us, that we may come unto him. Hallelujah. I know, Tim, if you have some songs you'd like to share, let's, let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, Father God Almighty, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we come unto thee, oh, Lord God. We yield ourselves unto thee, oh, Lord God, with thanksgiving in our hearts, with a cheerful heart, oh, Lord God. We come before you to give all that we have and all that we are, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we come unto you, Lord God, with great dependence, great reliance in our heart for you, oh, Lord God, knowing we can trust you in all things, knowing we can rely upon you for all things, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I just, I pray, dear Lord God, that your spirit would fall from heaven this day, oh, Lord God, that the Holy Ghost would come upon this congregation, those listening online, those listening to this testimony and message later on, oh, Lord God, hear their cry, oh, Lord God, convict their hearts, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, show us where the sin is. Let us repent unto thee. Give it all unto thee, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of your blood. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, Lord, we give it all unto thee. We bind and rebuke the enemy, oh, Lord God. The devil has no power over us, no power over thy kingdom, oh, Lord God. Lord, we claim the victory of Jesus Christ and the power of his might. Oh, Lord God, anoint this congregation. Anoint thy people, oh, Lord God, to go forth and do thy work, oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, just let your peace and love and long-suffering, your joy, all the meekness, all these fruits, oh, Lord God, let them come forth from thy people, oh, Lord God. Teach us, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, as we yield unto thee, oh, Lord God, fill us to ever-flowing, oh, Lord God. Let that river of living waters come forth and move forward from us into us. Us, through us, saturate us, every cell, every fiber to the depths of our soul, oh Lord God. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.